All right. So I've got about I've got almost three pounds of chicken bones. Uh, that you know when you cut up a chicken, you got the carcass that's left. And so what I'm doing here is I'm going to use this to make a stock. I'm going to cook the chicken or the the hen in this stock and that'll give us a real strong rich flavor and plus we can kind of make a little more soup that way we can kind of stretch it out but yet it still will taste fantastic so anyway I got three pounds of chicken bones two big cloves of garlic I've got one big carrot I'm gonna throw that in there two potatoes and then half an onion <clears throat> the potatoes and carrots and carrot we're gonna cook them for about an hour and then we'll take them out because they'll be t real tender and we're going to use that to thicken our broth right before serving. So anyway, we're going to cover this with water. We're going to bring it to a boil and we'll turn it down and let it simmer for about two hours, maybe three hours, something like that. So we'll see you later. Okay, so we're about one hour into the cooking and I've been going in and scooping off the, some of the fat that's accumulated and some of the scum. I'm not too worried about the fat because we're going to let this sit in the refrigerator overnight. We'll be able to get the fat off there real easy <clears throat> when we do so tomorrow. So what I'm going to do now, go ahead, my carrots and potato have gotten tender. We're going to go ahead and we're going to take these out. I've been slowly breaking these chicken pieces apart too. Now we're going to take these and we're going to break them up. And then we're basically we're just going to throw, throw the, cover them, throw them in the refrigerator. But we want to break all this up real, real good because like I said, we're going to use this to thicken our stew later on. Which that'll be tomorrow actually, right before we're done cooking. Alright, it's been going about three hours now, so we're going to turn this off. As you can see, this, these bones are broken down quite a bit. I just kept poking at them and breaking them up. Our water level has gone down quite a bit. This would actually make a pretty good soup right here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to strain this. I'm going to take out all the bones and all the big fat pieces and all that, put it in a different pan, put it in the refrigerator overnight, and tomorrow when I get back from work, we'll finish making our Sancocho. Anyway, have a good night, everyone. Okay, so... Last night, I cooked my stock. I took out all, strained out all the bones and everything, and then I put this stock in a, in the refrigerator overnight. And now this fat solidified, and we can very easily take that off. And then when I, once I get this off, I'm going to put it back on the stove and warm it up a little bit. Hey, now this is yuca. It's like a very fibrous potato. I'd already started working on it a little bit. Anyway, you can buy this frozen. It's certainly a lot easier when you buy it frozen. It's got kind of a tough skin on it. So of course you gotta peel that off. The easiest way to do that is with a knife. Vegetable peelers don't work too good for this. And once you get it, the skin off, you need to rinse it off, rinse your board because it skin gets everywhere. Now you can fry this. This is really good fried. You can take these, fry them up just like that in like a low temperature. Really good. That's about what I want for our Sancocho. All right, so I got my I got my plantain. Cut it in half. I'm just going to cut it in pieces. All right, so we got our pot here. We're going to go ahead and we're going to put our plantain and our yuca in there. We're going to 
put our stock in here that we warmed up a little bit. We're going to go ahead and we're going to turn this up on and we're going to bring it to a slow or kind of a medium simmer and we're going to cook that for about half an hour. All right. So my plantains and yuca have been cooking for about half an hour. Just a little more than a simmer. Now, I've got my chicken cut up. My hen, not chicken, it's sancocho de gallina, not sancocho de pollo. Now, all the backbone and neck and wing tips and stuff like that, I put that in the bag and that's going to go in the freezer. Now, my chicken's going to go in the pot. Uh, got my wings. Now, because it's a hen, the breasts are really big, so I cut each breast half into two, two pieces. So I've got essentially four breast halves. My leg quarters, put them in there. You could cut the thighs off if you want to, but I like leg quarters. Put all this meat in here. Now, we're going to have to add some more water. We're going to be putting in some potatoes later. I'm just going to bring our water level up. I'm going to need to add a little bit more. But I'm going to put enough in there to where when I put my potatoes and carrots in there, I have plenty of room for it. Anyway, I'll see you in a little bit. All right, so I've got almost enough water for what I'm ready for. I'm going to put in a tablespoon of salt. I'm going to taste this a little later to see where I'm at. I don't want to put too much because you can always add more. But you can't take it out. I'm going to put in some more water. And then we're going to bring this up to a simmer and we'll skim off some of the fat here in just a little bit. All right, we're start, we've been up back up to a good simmer for a little bit. And we're starting to get a little scum on top here. We're going to take some of that off. I don't like to rapidly boil my chicken like this. I like to just nice and slow, good simmer. That way the chicken should stay moist. Anyway, right now I'm gonna go ahead and add some carrot. Got two big old carrots I've cut up. Pour the water off my potatoes. Cut my potatoes up earlier. I put them in some water to keep them from turning brown. Put these in here. Now this would be a good time to check for seasoning. I'm pretty sure I'm going to need a little bit more salt. I've got a tablespoon in there, but with all the potatoes and the carrots and everything. <clears throat> so basically I'm going to put a little bit more salt in there for the potatoes and carrots. Now you don't want to get carried away. It's not a salty dish. Now, Got some frozen ears of corn. We're gonna put those in here. And we're basically gonna, at this point, cook everything till it's almost tender, and then we'll be back. Looks like my pot's just about the right size. There's not a lot of extra room in there. All right, now my potatoes and carrots. Whenever I push them, they're just starting to get tender a little bit they're not fully cooked my chicken is starting to pull away from the bone a little bit so everything's getting cooked pretty good I still got a little more time it's nice and slow simmer but anyway we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get these uh, other vegetables that we mashed up last night we're gonna get them in there we're gonna take some of this hot stock we're gonna put that in there. and then we're gonna blend this up a little bit. Let's kind of break it up, get it warm. And we're going to put this in. I'm just going to keep cooking it until everything's tender. I don't know how long it's going to take, but it'll it'll be done when it's done. Oops. Okay, my stew is done. The sancocho's ready. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little bit of everything and put it in my bowl and I'll be back with you here in just a minute.
but I got to go fishing for some yucca and potatoes and corn and chicken. Mm-hmm. All right, so this is how we would serve it. You got your avocado, you got your lime, ogal, got your ahi, got an arepa, a little bit of white rice. And, you know, kind of what you do from here is, is really up to you. I like to put a little bit of the ahi in my soup. A little bit more. I like that stuff. And put a little bit of our ogal in there. I like to squeeze a little bit of lime. From there, it's just eat. All right, so first we're gonna taste our soup. Oh, yeah. Let's taste that again. Okay. Let's taste our Guyana. Yeah. 